Hi, in this video, we will see how we can generate random letters using Microsoft Excel. So here in the right side of this Excel sheet, we are seeing on picture and there is some value like uppercase from A to Z. For A, the value should be 65 and for G, the value should be 90. So that means from 65 to 90, there are 26 letters and those letters are from A to Z. To find out a letter, basically we have to use one of this number and then we have to use with a formula. The formula name is character. So how we can generate a letter by using character function. Now let's see how we can generate a character by using this number range. For that case, basically we need to click on sale and after clicking on sale, we have to type a equal sign and then we have to type the function name. For this case, the function name we have to use as character char. If we type c, then it will pop up those things. We can type ch and then if we hit the tab key, it will be completed. I mean the function name will be completed and there will be parentheses. Now it is asking a number. So I'm going to type a number between 65 to 90. A number is fine. For example, I'm going to type 65. And if I hit enter key or return key, then we'll see a letter is there. That means basically this character 65, it represents a character which is A. If we put some other number, like for example, like 90, then it will type A letter which is z so in this way we can use this number to generate a character in excel here we saw how we generate a character but our goal was to generate a random character so how we can do this thing for that case basically we need to combine with random function so how we can do that so i'm going to retype it here basically i'm going to change it so that it every time it will generate a random character instead of some fixed character. So for that case, basically we need to use the same character function, but we have to use another function which is random between. So I'm going to jump another cell or I can type it here. Then I'm going to type a equal sign, for example, equal sign. And then after that, we have to type character, which is the character function char. And if we hit tab, it will complete then here we have to use another function the function name is random between if i type rand and it will pop up all the uh, like uh, similar method from here we have to select the random between and then after selecting the random between if we hit tab key it will complete the random between function and here we have to put two value basically i mean the range so here we are seeing a starts with 65 and for Z we have to represent 90 so I'm going to type the first letter which is 65 it means A and the maximum range is 90 which is Z so basically by typing this range value it will select one value and then after that we have to close the parenthesis and then if we hit return key or enter key we'll see that a random letter is generated if we want to generate for number of random letters for multiple cells, we can also do this way and every time it will generate a new random letter. Using this technique, we are able to generate only one single random letters. But if we want to generate multiple random letters together, how we can do that? To generate multiple random letters together, basically we need to copy this thing and we have to type multiple times and we have to add them as a string with ampersand sign. So I'm going to generate a two digit lem uh, random letter. So for that case, basically I'm going to copy the whole formula. And then after that, we have to add that formula again by typing and ampersand sign. So I'm going to paste this thing. And after that, I'm going to type ampersand sign. And once I type the ampersand sign, then we can paste the whole thing which I copied before. And here we are seeing there is an equal sign. We just need to remove this equal sign. Otherwise, we will get some error. And then if we hit enter key or return key, then we will see a string has been generated, which has only two letters. The same way we need to repeat the same technique if we want to generate three letters string or four letters string. That's it guys. In this way, we can easily generate random string by using this method. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you to generate 
some le random letter or some random string thank you guys for watching the video if you have any question don't forget to put in the comment section